You may remember a few weeks ago I did a video where I talked about doing an oil change on this 2024 Honda Goldwing and I was having trouble getting the oil filter to come off. It was the first oil change for this motorcycle so it had the oil filter on from the factory and it was on so tight I could not get it off. I made a video about that experience and what I did to mitigate that and over 20,000 of you have watched that video and I got a ton of comments and emails. So today we're going to talk about what do you do if you have a stuck oil filter on a Honda Goldwing and probably any motorcycle. This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Okay, so before I get started today, I wanted to kind of make a reference to the cap I'm wearing. This is a cap that was given to me by DFW Honda. I want to give a shout out to my friends over there, uh, Jacob and the service staff at DFW Honda, because they're the ones, if you watched the video, you remember I ended up taking the bike to them and they got the oil filter loose. Now, what Jacob also did, very kind of him to do it, he got me one of the oil filter wrenches like the one they used uh, to get the oil filter removed. I'm going to talk about this here in a little bit. We're going to go through some emails I've received. A lot of you out there had suggestions on what you've done to get the oil filter off. At the time, I mentioned that I had seen people in the past not necessarily on a Goldwing and even more so on the new Goldwing, you know, where you basically just take a screwdriver and you punch it through the oil filter and then you crank it off. And I mentioned at the time that I didn't want to do that for a couple of reasons and I'm glad I didn't. I had several people email me and say they've done that and I understand that. You may do it and get away with it, but I had at least two people email me and say they've done that where they punch through with a screwdriver or something like that and they ended up cracking the case, the engine case on the Goldwing. There's very, very little space between the oil filter and the engine case, the crankcase, and it's very, very thin metal. So I do not advise you do that. And the reason I didn't do it, and I've explained this to several of you that have put comments in, the reason I didn't do that is I don't want to show something on a video where I'm going to take a risk that if you do it, you could end up causing ten dollars or $12,000 worth of damage to your engine. I don't think that's responsible of me to do something like that. So I began... You know, I was kind of, I guess I was in a hurry, so I didn't really think through all the possible other methods of getting that oil filter off. I was using an oil filter wrench that I got at Walmart years ago. It's this little thin metal one, but it fits very tight. This is the oil filter here, and it fits extremely tight on the oil filter. But no matter what I did, as soon as I would try to uh, turn it, with a 3 8 inch um, ratchet, it just would spin. It basically was almost like it was smoothing out the corners on this oil filter. So I couldn't get a good enough bite on the oil filter. So, but I've used this for years on multiple gold wings. I think this is my fifth gold wing, and I've done multiple oil changes not just on my gold wings, but other gold wings as well. And I've never had a problem with that wrench. This oil filter was just on too tight. Okay, so I got a lot of emails and a lot of suggestions from people on what can you do if your oil filter is stuck. And a lot of you out there have had this problem. I was really surprised how many people have had an oil filter that they can't get off or they very difficult to get off. Well, I tried a second method. I tried using, uh, maybe put some sandpaper in here to thicken this up a little bit. I tried that. I also purchased on Amazon one of these little straps. The problem with the strap is 
this handle is so large and some of you pointed out I didn't have it turned the right way anyway but it wouldn't have made any difference because there's no room to to move this to get it loose it's it it's hitting other parts of the motorcycle underneath so it's not a good solution to use something like this with this type of oil filter wrench it's sitting up in that little well where the oil filter is and then you attach a socket or a ratchet rather here and you're down below where the oil filter is and that's how you are able to you know get pressure on the oil filter and remove it let me just go through some of the emails I received because some of you had some really I thought really good ideas first I'll tell you how DFW Honda was able to get the oil filter off they have this oil filter from Blue Point which I think is owned by snap-on tools and the only way to get this oil filter wrench is from a snap-on truck so if you have a snap-on truck and you want this oil filter wrench, I will put the part number. I've still got the package here. I'll put the part number on the screen and in the description of the video if you want this. Now, what's different about the one I'm holding in my hand is the one that DFW Honda used actually had a little set screw in the side. So I don't know, they must have modified that themselves because this one came from Blue Point. It does not have a set screw. So I'm thinking uh, you would have to drill a hole in the side of this oil filter wrench and then you would have to tap it out, thread it, and then get a set screw and put in there. Now what they did warn me about at, at DFW Honda is that you have to make sure that that set screw is flush with the outer edge. What they warned me is as you turn that in it's going to dig into the side of the oil filter and that's going to create friction and give it a little more bite so that when you turn this wrench it's going to hopefully remove the filter. Now if that doesn't work then you've really got a challenge because what it could do is that hex screw that's dug into the side of the oil filter wrench could just tear the metal of this oil of this oil filter this oil filter casing is extremely thin it's very very thin metal so and that's the problem you may have with a screwdriver you punch it with a screwdriver and you start putting a lot of torque on it the screwdriver will just start tearing the metal instead of turning it like you want it to. If you can't get it off by applying more pressure like that, then you've got to do some really serious... I don't even want to talk about it. They explained it at DFW Honda. Apparently they've had to do it before and it's not something you want to do. Fortunately, they were able to get my oil filter off without having to go to extreme measures. So that's one option. You get an oil filter like this. Now, I guess in theory, you know, I've got another one here that looks almost like it. It's not as heavy. This one came from Toyota. A friend of mine gave me this to try. And it's pretty thick aluminum. It looks like a, this is a chrome vanadium. This thing's heavy duty. This thing, this one from Snap-on is outrageously heavy. And I don't know that it's even necessary to have something like this unless you're a shop where you do this all the time. I mean, this is, this is almost not for consumer use. It does have a nice, you know, where you could get a, uh, a crescent wrench on here if you needed to, or it's got a half inch ratchet drive. So if you have a half inch ratchet, you could put that in there and use that to get the uh, filter off. Like I say, this one is almost overkill for what most of us consumers would ever need for home use. Looks like something you'd find in a mechanic shop. But I do appreciate DFW Honda giving me this to look at. So you could theoretically, you could drill a hole in this one, tap it, put a set screw in there, do the same thing. I started to tell you one of the things they warned me about is you want to make sure that set screw is completely flush with this outer edge of the filter wrench because if it's sticking out and you turn and you do get the oil filter to start to come loose and that 
Allen screw can hit your engine case and crack the engine case or gouge it, which would weaken it. I can't even begin to tell you how thin the metal is in that little part of the engine case where the oil filter is. It's extremely thin and very brittle, which is another reason if you don't have a traction engine guard, you need one or you need some sort of engine guard or belly pan something to protect that engine case because it's very, very thin. Let's go to the emails and let's look at what some of you sent in and recommended and things that you've used. Now, this is from Dr. Paul Comparelli. I hope you guys don't mind me mentioning your name. And he sent a photo of a oil filter wrench that looks almost identical uh, to this one that I got from DFW Honda. And let's go down here and read what he has to say. After much grief and time, I came up with a fix. This is after snapping off the nut on the Honda cup wrench. So he had the Honda wrench and he snapped the nut off. So that's tight. And two other broken wrench types, duct tape lining the cup with a piece of bicycle inner tube and on and on. By the way, I even tried with a couple of screws going in from the side of the filter using the cup wrench. This is how I snapped off the nut on the Honda wrench. This is simply a fist full of deck screws and it worked. It looks from the picture as though he put these deck screws into the top, what I call the top, I guess it's really the bottom, of the oil filter wrench and then screwed those into the bottom of the oil filter itself and then he was able to get it to turn off or to uh, come loose. Very interesting idea. That's one solution. This is from Richard Nitto. Richard said, Cruise Man, I had the same issue recently on my 2018. I bought this tool on Amazon. It works great. I tossed the cheap one purchased from Wing Stuff in the garbage. Thanks for all you do. Looks like it's on Amazon. It's from e a company called EWK and it looks identical it looks almost identical to this one uh, it may not be as as heavy duty as steel or whatever this material is but it looks very very similar so i will put a link to his uh, this is from richard Nitto, and i'll put a link to that wrench on amazon in the description of this video if you're interested and once again, it looks like that type of a filter, you would also be able to drill a hole in the side if you wanted to and uh, tap it out and put a set screw in there, which if I keep this oil filter, that's what I'll end up doing just in case I ever need to have the, you don't have to use the set screw, but you'd have that as an option if you ever needed it. This is from Roy Barons. This, I think, is a really good idea. I wish I'd thought of this. Uh, he said, I experienced slipping off my oil filter cap wrench too, so I used a punch to dent in each side. So basically, he has one of these thin metal wrenches like I've got, and he basically took a, a metal punch and just punched in all the way around, and that additional deformation of the metal when he did get it onto the oil filter it gave it a lot more bite and he shows a picture of what he did I thought that was a very very uh, elegant uh, simple and pretty intelligent way to get this wrench to get more bite on that oil filter and I think if I had it to do over that's what I would have done I would have probably modified this little cheap one that way. Now you might, if you do that, you'd probably have to tap with a, uh, the handle of a socket or the, a ratchet or the handle or a small hammer. You probably have to tap this onto the bottom of the oil filter. Once again, you better hope you get the oil filter loose because if you don't, I don't know if you'd ever get, get the little wrench off. Let's see what else we've got. Now, this is from Ron Hetchy. I hope I'm saying that right, Ron. I've seen these oil filter wrenches in the past. They're kind of a flat oil filter wrench. Uh, I've used them in the past. I used them on my 2012 Goldwing. I didn't particularly like them. And I'm not sure how well 
they work on these new gold wings where you have very little room to have something flat up against that engine case because there's only about that much room to maneuver. Kind of the same problem you have with this rubber strap. But uh, some of you out there may use these flat oil filter wrenches. Let me know in the comments down below how do they work for you. Uh, obviously, that is a solution. He said, I own a whole, uh, Goldwing for the last two years, and the picture will show you the kind of wrench I use. I love it. Now, this is from Jeff Sharp. He says, this is my go-to wrench, and, and it's a similar uh, concept to this right here, the strap. It's, it's one of these. It's a metal strap, and as you, as you turn it, it tightens the metal strap around the filter. So the more you turn it, the tighter it gets. Same concept, kind of a friction-based mechanism. Now, somebody else sent me an email, and I don't have it in front of me, but they sent a picture of an oil filter wrench that looks something like this. And I apologize for not getting your name out there, and, and, but I do appreciate you sending it to me. And I actually ordered one of these on Amazon because I thought I might want to try it if this ever comes up again. And basically the way it works, it has these little fingers uh, all the way around. My only concern is, will these fingers fit on the back side of the oil filter in between the filter and the engine case? Because it looks to me like you need a little space. The filter sits in there like this, and it looks to me like, gosh, it's... It might fit. I haven't tried it yet, but let me know in the comments if you guys have used one of these. I got it on Amazon. It was only six or seven dollars. And it, the concept is as you as you go to loosen it using the half inch drive or the a crescent wrench or whatever. I don't know what size that nut is, but as you go to loosen it, it tightens those fingers and those fingers grip tighter and tighter. I do like the way that it applies pressure to three different sides of the oil filter at the same time to give it kind of a uniform and, and it would obviously deform this oil filter the tighter it got. But this looks like a good technique. If, if these fingers will fit between the filter and the engine case, I think this is probably a good solution and it's inexpensive. And one of you did send me an email saying that you use this, you showed it to me in the picture. So let me know in the description of this video if you've had this problem where you've had trouble getting an oil filter off, if you have any other ideas. I want to thank every one of you that sent me emails and posted messages about this. Like I say, apparently this is more of an issue than I realized. I, I didn't even know until this happened to me that this was such an issue. But thank you again for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video or got any value from it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna put links to all of these products in the description of the video. I can't give you, oh, I guess I could give you a link to this Blue Point uh, that I got from DFW Honda, but they don't sell it online. You have to buy it from a snap-on dealer but I will put the part number if you want it. And I'm telling you right now, you can tell just hold it in your hand. This thing is, this is industrial grade. This thing is super heavy duty, which you would expect from a snap-on product. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the YouTube channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next Cruise Man's Garage. Until then, remember what I always say, ride often, but ride safe.